Hey, so this is an iPad. This is an iPad Pro. This is a MacBook, MacBook Pro. MacBook, MacBook Pro. Companies across the world are struggling to make the cases for their Pro versions of their devices. The Pro versions do more, cost more. The Pro versions are the regular versions plus something. The Pro versions are the regular versions one plus something. Too much? Let's get started. Over the past few days, the internet has been afire with rumors about the OnePlus 7 phones in plural. There is a regular OnePlus 7, there is a OnePlus 7 Pro, there is a OnePlus 7 Pro 5G. There are also Bullets Wireless 2 earphones, but not a lot of people are talking about them. If you are like me and excited about those earphones, please drop a like down below. Keep in mind, these are just rumors. Until the actual launch on May the 14th, we don't know if any of them will come true. When I use the word a fire, I mean it because there is no other brand in the world except possibly Apple, which has the same kind of cult following that OnePlus has in the smartphone space. Pete Lau from OnePlus has been going to great lengths to explain the difference between fast and smooth. There is fast and there is smooth. I will explain in a bit. Let's start with the regular boring OnePlus 7 first. It has a Snapdragon 855 processor, it has only 6GB of RAM and 128GB of storage. It is UFS 3 though and you know how I feel about that. It has dual cameras, a 3700mAh battery with only 20W fast charging. On the content consumption side, it has a 6.4 inch OLED 1080p display with only one speaker. We do not know if this display is Super AMOLED Plus or Optic OLED. There is a huge difference between the two and we do not know whether this display supports HDR. We do know however, this display does not support 90Hz refresh rate. And that brings us very nicely to the OnePlus 7 Pro. On the content consumption side, the OnePlus 7 Pro has a 90Hz 6.7 inch Super AMOLED Quad HD display with finally dual speakers. For content consumption enthusiasts, there is going to be a night and day difference between the OnePlus 7 Pro and the OnePlus 7. The other features are kind of similar. There is a triple camera setup. There is a 4000 mAh battery with insane 30 watt fast charging. There is a Snapdragon 855 processor, possibly overclocked and there is an insane 12GB RAM version. Oh, and did I mention that the OnePlus 7 Pro is a full $200 more expensive than the OnePlus 7? And that, my friends, is the real kicker. If you ask anyone in India, anyone with a smartphone, what the brand OnePlus stands for, they will tell you great specs at an affordable price. And I couldn't help but wonder, what would happen if the second half of that statement became slightly less true? Would OnePlus become the Android iPhone? Also, when will OnePlus be able to price up their phones? That, however, is the subject matter of another video. What you need to know today is that there is a stark difference between the OnePlus 7 Pro and the regular old boring OnePlus 7 and OnePlus has definitely made the case for the Pro moniker. I don't think most people will have a problem coughing up. Thanks for watching this video guys. I know a lot of you have your own thoughts about the OnePlus 7 and the OnePlus 7 Pro. Please drop them in the comment section down below. Subscribe to Blog of Note and I will see you guys in the next one.